you, you see your old notes and you sort of read the old history and physical exams and everything and then you begin to s remember where you were, which OR you were in, operating in, um, what it was like to send that patient home. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that comes rushing back. You know, there's not a whole lot I do differently. What I did notice is that in one chart, I had a one of our patients left against medical advice, and this was way back in maybe August or September. And uh, I remember thinking at the time, being a new doctor, I was like, oh, well, she left against medical advice. There's nothing more to do. And so she left, and we closed her chart, and that was the end of that. I didn't realize that I still had to you know, dictate and actually document the whole hospital course while she was here, even though she left against medical advice. So that was sort of a rookie mistake. Um, but I, l I looked through it, I don't know. Um, through the course of the year, my notes have gotten more concise. Um, you know, sometimes shorter is better, sometimes shorter is worse, but I think they, I think they're more concise, but they're more packed with the salient details. So that's a pretty good measurement of success. The notes are a lot less fluffy. One of the charts that I had to do a dictation for, I realized it was for someone who passed away on Christmas Day, and I had to dictate their hospital course. And um, I remember working on Christmas Day, and then I, you know, it all kind of comes back that that was one of the first people I had to go and declare and, you know, pronounce dead and fill out the death certificate for. Um, and you transport the body to the morgue and everything. Um, that was last Christmas.